How are you guys doing? Um, anyone who's been following knows that I was really sick about 48 hours ago, and um, I'm still uh, recovering. I'm still about 30%. Uh, you know, I'm about 70% better, but I got about 30% left um, if I'm if I'm estimating right. But um, while I was trying to fight the illness, and I was just basically laying under tons of blankets to stay incredibly warm, and I had my phone playing podcasts and uh, actually a lot of TED talks on on YouTube, and so I had the wildest dreams. At different times but uh, because of some of those are filtering in and out of my brain but um, one in particular stuck out to me it just completely blew my mind um, it was this unusually not spectacularly charismatic person it was this guy he was he was this big dude he's and he said he was like 300 pounds at one point and he was one of the founding members of the technology that makes the internet possible um, back in the day, and so he got in early. He, he, his company helped design a lot of the stuff that created um, things that Google started using, and all the other search engines and stuff. And um, so I, I didn't pick up all of it, nor did I understand all of that part of it. But basically, he he um, used all of this influence in it. Well, being friends with so many tech people at the highest caliber, like the cutting edge of technology and having what I assume is millions of dollars to spend, he decided he was gonna try to work on his health. And he first, he lost 50 pounds, he was down to 250, but that wasn't good enough for him. And he said he worked out every day and ate very low calories for two years and he almost couldn't lose any weight at all. And so what he finally did was he went, he got into this biohacking where you hook your brain up to a bunch of electrodes and you look at a screen and with a technology with a with a like neuro doctor <laughs> who, who who's studying this kind of stuff like the best of the best in the business people who study what parts of the brain light up and basically you look at the screen and you can learn how to actually influence what happens inside your body you can control your heartbeat you can calm down those parts of your hormones that get you all excited you can um, you can do all kinds of things by learning how to control the internal mechanisms in your body by by using technology to see what's going on and then you know trying and trying to influence what happens on the screen and uh, obviously a lot of stuff I don't understand and um, a lot of stuff probably most of you are like what are you talking about but what struck me at the end of it was he, he got to a point where he was able to lose all the weight he wanted be, get all the way down to his ideal weight be really healthy and stay that way while consuming a lot of food, more food than a nutritionist should, would say you're able to, and without really exercising much at all. Um, does that mean you shouldn't exercise and you shouldn't eat right and you should just go find some biohacking person? Well, if you have a few million dollars to throw around and you can find the right people, then you know I'm not gonna stop you. But, and I obviously, um, most people who do find that eating better makes you feel better and exercising definitely makes you feel better. I would say that's absolute crazy talk. But whether you think he's nonsense or whatever, whatever part of that TED talk you take away, and I seriously, I was listening to like dozens of TED talks and this is the only one that struck me because I was half asleep, I'm listening to this, and he said at the very end of it, he said, your attitude towards life is a more powerful determinant of your health than even all the biohacking that he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars learning. And he said, I could tell you all kinds of different things that would improve your attitude towards life, but I'll just leave you with one. Gratitude. If you are grateful, if you are filled with gratitude, that will improve your health more than all the biohacking that he did on his body more than all the exercise, more than all the eating right. He said, if you are filled with gratitude, you will be filled with energy and you will be filled with excitement and your life will improve dramatically. And I thought that was shocking because this other guy that has been a huge influence on me, uh, some of you might've heard of him, his name is Gary Vaynerchuk. 
his screen name is Gary V. He's always talking about gratitude, about how being grateful for what you have um, is what empowers you. And he's, Gary has actually used the phrase, gratitude is the fuel I run on. And he even goes so far as to say, sometimes first thing in the morning, he'll do a mental exercise. He'll close his eyes and think of the 10 people he loves the most. And he'll just imagine what would happen if he lost one of them, two of them, several of them, how much it would devastate him. And he lets his mind actually go through the exercise of how that would feel as if as he tries to get himself to believe it for a couple seconds. And then he pulls himself out of it and says, but they're still here and I can still love them. And it fills him with so much gratitude that nothing that whole rest of the day can touch him. He could lose a million dollar deal and does not care, does not matter. He could, he could um, 10 people could mess up some project he put them to work on and it's not gonna phase him a bit. Like, he's so filled with happiness after that. And um, so I just wanted to give you guys this. A lot of you know it, a lot of you've heard it before. Back to the biohacker guy, that, that crazy nutty guy, he said, take a journal. And this is what everybody who talks about gratitude does. He says, take, oh, take a notebook and write down three things you're grateful for every morning. Three, or if you want five things, 10 things, and just think about those things and then close it up and go about your day. Um, but whether you write it down or whether you just close your eyes and think about it, um, what I've done in the past, a lot of people are like, oh, you work so hard, Matt. And sometimes I feel like I'm, I don't work hard at all. I feel like a lot of what looks like working hard is me uh, just doing, doing a lot of tasks, but feeling like I'm not doing them as fast or as, as diligently as I could. Um, but when I feel like I really need to bust out some hard work, what I do is I close my eyes and I imagine I'm one of those people in, on the other side of the world who gets paid 80 cents an hour to put out tons and tons of the products that we use every day working a 12 hour shift, working as fast as they possibly can, and not thinking twice about feeling bad about themselves because that's a better job than the job they had before where they might have been starving somewhere. And so they just put out like incredible, and you can, you can look up on YouTube, you can look up like people working efficiently and you'll see shots of people all around the country, all around the globe, all different countries, people doing fascinating tasks really fast, lay, laying bricks uh, in restaurants, slicing things up and throwing them on the pan like so fast you don't know how they do it so perfectly. Um, but I imagine I'm one of those people and I say, how fast would I make pieces of jewelry to sell? How fast would I do whatever task I need to do if I was like one of these people? And would it hurt me? No, it would probably make me stronger. It would probably make me more disciplined, more, uh, it actually turns into exercise. Your work and your exercise combine and it, it makes you healthier. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think overworking hurts you. I think stress is what hurts you. Stress comes from fear. And when, when the fear gets too high, that's what breaks down your immune system, in my opinion. So um, this really hit me. And, and uh, I want to uh, just share it with you that like gratitude is like this amazing power that it can change your life. You don't have to be medically in a great place. You don't have to be physically in a great place. You don't have to, um, you can have all kinds of medical issues. And if you start today, just stop focusing on the negative and only focus on what you're thankful for. And deep, deeply from the bottom of your heart, realize how grateful you should be for all the things that happened in your life, that you don't deserve any of them, none of them. Only the good things are things more than you deserve. If you can think of it like that, not compare yourself to anyone else. Just compare yourself to having nothing and count all the things that you have had and then be incredibly grateful. You will start to enter this place of peace and you won't have to think about what to do or what comes next. It'll just come to you. You'll know how to step out as you get filled with this, this peace. Okay, so you guys take that to heart and I will see you in some future videos hopefully.